Blog Talk Radio. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everyone. I am writer, author, and producer, Yvonne Luttrell. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my show. Guys, I have been a lot busy, not even not even a little. I've been a lot busy, so um, that's why it's been a little minute, but I'm back. So I would like to apologize about that, and I'm definitely going to try to be better about my shows because I have a lot of you that are downloading and listening and waiting, and I just want you guys to know that I definitely appreciate you a whole lot. So remember, guys, if you would like for me to be a guest on your show or if you would like to be a guest on my show or if you have a show idea, you can always contact me on Facebook, Tumblr, or Instagram at Yvonne Latrell. Remember, I got kicked off of Twitter, but I am back on there. I'm ba- I am back on Twitter, but not as Yvonne Latrell. I have Yvonne's podcast. So just um, um, got back on there, whatever. So, yeah, guys, so... Hello, and uh, again, hello, 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 good morning, good night, good afternoon, whatever time it is of the day that you are hearing this, I just uh, want to say I hope you all are having a great day, and we are going to get into my topic, and for those of you that have really, really been following me, you know that song right there is a clip of my pro-life CD, single rather, uh, that was actually the remix. And most of you do know who are following me, follow me, and who have been following me for a while know my situation about abortion. And no, I am not a hypocrite, even though I have been called a, a hypocrite before. So um, okay, so getting into my topic, uh, abortion is murder, and the hypocrite part, I, I will definitely talk about that. I'm going to get, but I'm going to get into that also. So, um, I did a podcast before about abortion is murder, and this one is a updated topic because right now that's. The trend right now, that's the trending topic. A lot of people are talking about it because of the, um, the abortion ban in Texas and, you know, Roe versus Wade, everything that's going on. So I decided to do a updated top, a updated um, story on the topic. So my, okay, my situation, for those of you that don't know, I was raped by my ex. I was really, really, really raped. And it was no, oh, no, stop, don't do it. I'm like, you know, screaming, stop, get your ass off me. He was drunk. That's not no excuse because I told him no. But either way, he still did it. And he had my legs pent down. And once I realized, okay, there's nothing that I'm going to be able to do. I'm not going to be able to get out of this. I asked him, I'm like, please, please put on the condom. And um, he grabbed the condom. He opened the condom, and he did not put it on his penis. He just threw it down. And like I said, he still had my legs pinned down. And then he just put his penis inside of me. And, okay, you already know he ain't pull out. So, uh quite obvious, I got pregnant, and I was very angry. I I was very pissed off because, like I said um, in my last podcast, and on another podcast, I I was interviewed um, on someone else's podcast, and like I said, then I did not put myself in that situation. So 
I was very angry. I was very pissed off or whatever. And I was like struggling with the decision. You know, should I keep it? Should I get rid of it? I was just so mad and just so angry. And in the end, I just church before I had the the abortion. I talked to my pastor at the time and I told him I'm pregnant. I I'm very upset about being pregnant about being pregnant. I don't want this baby and I know it's wrong to have an abortion and you know, I, I need prayer. And I was hoping for like a magical prayer that would happen like right then, right then, like oh, you're not going to do this, you're going to have this baby, whatever, you know. I, that's what I was hoping for, honestly. I'm just keeping it real. I was just really hoping something like that will come and click, and I would just change my mind. And I didn't change my mind. I just got angrier and angrier, and I wanted the baby out of me. So I went to the clinic, and... My friend had to me, and when I went, it was, I think it it was closed for the day. So I'm, like, so mad. I'm just looking all over the place. So my friend was like, well, you don't think that's the sign that you should keep it? I'm like, oh, my gosh, like, get away. Like, I didn't want to hear that. I I didn't want to hear it. And so I went the next day. I don't even know if it was to that same clinic because it was so long ago or if it was to another clinic. And I got rid of the baby. And, yes, it's a baby. And so my thing is, if I decided to keep that baby, then it would be a baby. But when you don't want the baby, then it's not a life to the the people that are pro-choice. And I feel like, I was wrong. I was very wrong to get rid of that that baby. That was that was my baby, even though I didn't put myself in that situation. You know, after everything was over, I was filled with so much hurt. And so that's when I really started looking into, like, abortion and, you know, pro-life versus pro-choice and, like, oh, my gosh, what did I do? What the fuck did I do? Because... It's not something that's easy. That's not an easy decision. Just, um, is, you know, it's not like you're going to the store to buy something and, uh, um, I don't, uh, you know, I bought this, I don't like it, I'm going to return it. I don't want this anymore. It's not that. I mean, it's it's really a life. That's why people are fighting so hard for the baby's right. And all of us here that have a opinion on the um on the topic rather you're pro choice or pro life all of us we we are here we we wasn't aborted and we are happy that we are here so i feel like the babies that are aborted they should be here with us and 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 that goes for my baby too. No, I should not have did it. I should not have did it. And so when I had gotten to like uh promoting like um abortion is murder, then there were people that that were with me that did understand me and where I was coming from. And then there were other people like, "Oh, you're a hypocrite." It okay for you to do it and now you're telling other people they shouldn't do it. So like, okay, yeah, I get what some of the people were saying. So I'm not going to be like, um, okay, fuck you or whatever. I probably did say that back then, but I mean, I definitely understand like, okay, yeah, I did it. And then now I regret it and I feel like it was wrong. So now I'm trying to tell people, yeah, I'm, I'm telling the ladies, hey, really think about this. This was definitely a, a bad decision. It was de- it was definitely hurtful because when you really look into it, it's a life. That's just how human life starts. So it's a life. When a woman becomes pregnant, 
And it don't it don't matter if it's just a cell. Okay, that's still a life. It don't have to be all of uh, uh, um all the way developed. It takes time for that uh that baby to develop. It's a life. And okay, so just say that someone that uh, uh well, just use me for an example. Um a person that's already here. If someone takes away um both my arms, both my legs, I'm still a human, I'm still a person. So just because this baby is not all the way developed yet, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, like I said, if it's just one cell, if it's two cells. Um, but eventually, just leave that life alone. Let it do what it's supposed to do. And that's how it, it starts off. That's how a human life starts off. Give it time. It's going to have a heart. It's going to have arms. It's going to have legs. It's going to have eyes and ears. It's going to turn into a full human. So you can't say that it's not a life. You are here and no one stop your life. So it's wrong. It's wrong. So no matter what, no matter the convenience or, you know, your lifestyle, you just have to rethink some things. Don't have sex. Don't have sex or use a condom Get on birth control, do something so you don't have to be in that situation. And then there are a lot of women who cannot become pregnant, who would love to be mothers. What about them? You know, um, if you don't want your baby, there's someone that will love that baby like it's their own and will take care of it as their own. So abortion is murder, no matter what you think. And another thing is... um, People are too busy trying to fit in and, okay, like, you can really be pro-life. And it's one person that's pro-life, and it's a 100 people that are pro-choice. And you really feel like, oh, my gosh, this is a life. But because you don't want nobody saying, oh, fuck you, screw you, hey, mind your fucking business, you go ahead and say, hey, I'm going to be pro-choice because they're pro-choice or I'm not going to say anything because I want people to like me. No, screw that. Uh, To be a leader is to stand out. You don't have to try to fit in. I'm not trying to fit in. I wasn't born to fit in. I was born to stand out. So this is my opinion. I'm not trying to please um, anyone. I don't care how many people that are uh, uh, pro-choice. If the whole world is pro choice, that's their damn business. I'm not going to just fit in for the whole world to like me. It doesn't work that way. So, guys, this is how I feel about the topic. And I'm not sure that I'm going to do another topic. Another topic on this, unless uh, someone wanted to come on the show. If you want to come on the show and give um, your views, you are more than welcome. It's not like I'm going to try to uh, make you agree with me, um, but you are more than welcome to state your opinion. I'm okay with that. So, guys, I'm writer, author, and producer, Yvonne Latrell. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my show. And remember, you could check out all of my uh, topics on Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, um, Apple Podcasts, and so much more. Thank you.